What's up guys, it's Dingers Daily, and the Mavericks-Clippers game has just finished, and the Clippers, it's like 20 seconds left, I'm not gonna wait for the game to end, but the Clippers have won and beat the Mavericks in Game 7, as Luka is doing amazing, but his supporting cast, not so much. We'll talk about all of that in today's video. What's up guys, it's Dingers Daily, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, and also comment down below who you guys have winning between the Utah Jazz and the LA Clippers, because that's gonna be a fun series. Kawhi had a great game, offensively and defensively, and also some huge props to Paul George, Luke Kennard, Marcus Morris, Terrence Mann. Everybody hit their shots at the right time for the Clippers, and it was just going all well. Like, Marcus Morris hit, I think, how many, like, six threes last time I checked. Paul George, like, nine, ten-ish assists. Um, Dorian Finney-Smith, he was doing good for the Mavericks, but that's literally about it, other than Luka, who literally like went crazy but there's something we need to talk about chris taps porzingis is not luca's guy you can't be putting up 15 points okay he put up like more probably by the end of the time this is over because it's kind of like stat padding the end no one really cares but you can't be putting up the stuff you did you can't be doing what you did if you're a second star to a superstar a generational talent like luca Doncic. Like, the, the Mavericks need to trade Chris Dapps for somebody like a Bradley Beal, a second scorer. Because what the Mavericks tried to do was they tried to surround Luka with some 3 and D guys. And right now, they're not hitting threes, and they're not playing defense. So what's the point of them being there? The Mavericks, bad day, bad luck. They couldn't shoot their shots. Well, not bad luck, but like the threes, their shots were not falling. Luka went off. Boban actually did pretty good. Um... But yeah, this was just a terrible, terrible, terrible day for the Mavericks. But the final score, as it just ended, is 126 to 111. The Clippers win Game 7 by 15 points. Boban, 14 points, 10 rebounds. He did a pretty good job. Luka, 46, 7 rebounds, and 14 assists. What more do you want from this man? Dwayne Finney-Smith, he had a pretty okay game. Uh, like 18 points, 10 rebounds. Chris Stapps, I think, is 16 and 11. Now, don't tell me that's some real stats because... Literally, that's cheese stats, you know what I'm saying? Other than Dorian Finney-Smith, Tim Hardaway Jr., Christoph Rodriguez, Luka, and Boban, no one scored more than five points. Not even five. Not, e not even five. Like, Maxi Kleber didn't score. Jalen Brunson didn't score much. Trey Burke didn't do anything. Josh Richardson didn't do anything. Dwight Powell actually scored four points. But, I mean, like, Porzingis was bad. Luka was amazing on amazing efficiency, like, okay, let's give some props to the Clippers, because Batum had a pretty good game, Paul George, 22 points, Kawhi, 30 points, Marcus Morris hit some shots, 23 points, Reggie Jackson, 20, I mean, 15, Luke Kennard hit some threes in the third and fourth quarter, 11 points, Terrence Mann had a pretty good game earlier, like, in the early of the game, he was doing good, but, yeah, Clippers win by 15, they, Luka needs some help, man, you can't, like, have a generation of talent like Luka Doncic and not know how to build around him. This guy's a great playmaker. All he needs is a good star. And I'm fine if they trade Porzingis because he deserves to be trade, traded. Like, the Mavericks have this series in their hands. Porzingis sold the bag. Luka just did amazing the whole series. Like, I don't think he had one game under 25 points. Like, he was doing amazing, doing all he could. Like, there was a game he scored 46 points. Came out and said, I play terrible. So, again, major props to Luka. Clippers move on to face the Utah Jazz. Um, shout out to Kawhi. Great defense, great offense. Paul George, great playmaking, but also some good defense and offense. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button. I'll be coming out with a video later on who they should trade Porzingis for or like why. And like, you know what I mean, like a longer video. This is just my quick uh, uh, recap. But yeah. Thank you guys and bye.